Hey y'all, it's Jordan here, and today is Friday, so unfortunately I don't have a lot of time today, but I'll try and make two videos. Um, for right now, I'm going to show you how to make a type of echo plug type of sound. So right now we're going to create a combinator, and we're going to call this pluck. And I always like working with subtractor. It's like the easiest thing for me to work with. So right now, it's an, in, an initialized patch. I'm going to set the polyphonic to 13 and the range to 12. And I want to turn on this second oscillator. Let me change my audio settings real quick. All right. It's very, very basic. So what we want to do is we want to shorten everything. So the amp envelope set that to about 20 or so. Sustain all the way down and release. Let's set that to about six. That's pretty cool. But I'm gonna set these to both uh, negative. So that we, we get more of a hollow sound. I wanna turn up the FM to about 20. Now I wanna turn up the, the frequency to about Let's see, what is that? 46 and LP to 24. And turn on the, the keyboard filter track so that way the velocity you hit the note will be the, the harder it sounds or the softer it sounds. Anyways, from now, we want to boost this. So I have a soft tube uh, saturator. I'm going to boost it about 2.5 and keep it on high. Next, I'm going to create a equalizer and then after that I'm going to create a RV 7000 turn it all the way down to about 2 K about 30 turn on low shelf low cut turn that all the way down per metric one we're gonna put that about 200 turn that turn up the Q and same thing, 5, 43, all the way down, Q all the way up. High shelf, turn that, the frequency all the way down, give it about 4 decibels high, and turn off the Q. Then after that, we're going to right click and create a echo. And after this, we're going to create a maximizer. So I'm going to turn up the feedback about 60 or so. And the time about 1 8 That's pretty cool. And so for the maximizer, I'm going to take out the limiter, turn on soft clip, 127 for the amount. Output, I'm going to put about 3. And input, I'm going to put about 3. Now, if you want anything to be, we have our uh, our pluck. Let's call, it, call this pluck echo. That's basically it. But if you do want to add a little bit more swing to it, uh, right after the subtractor, you want to go to utilities and create a pulsar, and flip it over. And for the filter one frequency, you want to attach that to LFO one. about uh, the level about 70% and I want to actually change this to a, a saw if I can yeah here we go shuffle about 100% or so only oh, it goes to 100% that's too much so I'm just actually going to turn that off and I'm going to flip it back around and attach the LFO 2 to the mod wheel and when let's see what happens if we turn on the modulation wheel. I 
actually going to turn the phase all the way up and the LFO all the way down. Make it pretty, pretty crazy. FM about 10. Now we have a random generating pluck. So random pluck. I spelled that wrong. So for the combination patch, we're going to just call it pluck echo R and D M random. There we go. That's our very basic pluck for today. I'm going to put this with a drum beat so that way we can start mashing in chords. Reason, Dr. Rex Drums, Electro House, or Techno should be good. No. Electro House it is, tops. This will work. So there we go. That's our basic initial stuff. There we go. That's it. Thanks for watching.